So today I'm going to be trying to um, fabricate a replacement part for my horizontal bandsaw. I've got a uh, a uh, Clark uh, six six inch by four inch horizontal bandsaw. It's the same. I think it's it's the same model as as what you find in many other manufacturers. It's sort of like a a common Chinese uh, design, uh, and a lot of people sort of rebadge it. So this is the part that I'm going to be trying to uh, to make. Basically, this is the part that holds the uh, the top wheel. Uh, and it also so the top wheel goes in here, and then the the tensioning uh, sort of bolt and the spring attached to this. So you can tension the uh, you can you can tighten the the knob at the top of the bandsaw, and it pulls this upwards, and so it can tension the uh, uh, the blade. And then there's a uh, there's a grub screw in here that's used to set the tracking at the, at the angle of the um, of the wheel. So as I was fitting a new blade, I was coming to tension the. Uh, tension it and according to the instructions you're meant to take up all the slack and then give it two complete turns if you don't have a tensioning meter uh, and I tried to do that and then I heard an almighty crack <clears throat> and wondered what was wrong but nothing seemed to happen and so I carried on sort of uh, setting it up and then when I came to tension it again nothing happened and I realized that this had broken uh, so this looks like it's just a uh, sort of a, a cheap cast iron part uh, there's actually some porosity you see some porosity there um, so it's and obviously that's close to this section here so there's no doubt that that's a bit weak um, but anyway what I've got instead is I've gone out and I've got some 30 millimeter square steel section so what I'm going to try and do is uh, is machine out of this and, uh, and we'll see how it goes so, I don't think it's a very particularly complicated part, I've done a, a bit of a drawing here. Uh, it is literally just a rectangular section with a couple of holes in it and two slots uh, cut into it. So, I don't think it should be too complicated. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is uh, cut a relevant section with a hacksaw uh, from the uh, from the box, from the square section. Stick it in the milling machine, uh, square it all up uh, and then start doing the, the slots and then the holes. The uh, only section which is going to be a little bit, uh, might be a little bit interesting is the um, the hole here. It's a 70mm diameter hole. I don't have a 70mm diameter drill bit. So what I'm going to probably try and do is mount it in the lathe uh, and bore it out. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Now unfortunately we're going to have to do this the manual way without a bandsaw. Grab the old hacksaw and uh, do it the old fashioned way. Okay. Uh, milling that top side uh, and now what I'll do is I'll turn it over use it as a reference and mill the other side parallel to it
Yeah, okay, so I'll place the fuse uh, on the unit, so now I need to actually get this, uh, this vice back up square. That's it. We'll leave it at that. Okay, so I've done the 25.5mm um, dimension there, so now we need to turn it over and start taking the other side down to 19 and a half which will take some time So we finally got the uh, the block down to size. So we have oh my yeah nineteen point nineteen point five there and I think my batteries need replacing on here. Yeah, and 25.5. So basically that, that is pretty much, uh, that's down to size now. It certainly is good enough for what uh, I need. So what I need to do now is I need to mill the slots on the side. So I need to mill the, the slots on this side and on the other side. And we also need to drill these holes. Okay, right. Let's stick that in the uh, in the milling machine and uh, let's get started. Right. So the slots are four and a half mil wide and they're four and a half mil from one edge. So now I don't have an edge finder. So what I tend to do, I need to buy one. But um, what I'm going to do is I will just use like a drill bit. Uh, I just do it by eye. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it probably you know it doesn't matter. That, for it to be sort of super accurate. Um, so we need to do that first. Now, I have a four mil, four millimeter, four foot milling cutter, so we'll use that. Yeah, 3.6, good. Okay, so that's these two slots basically done now. Comparison. So the only thing that's left is three, these three holes. So.
There we go, that's a nice fit. Lovely. Good, okay. So, there is literally only one operation left on this part. And that is to bore out uh, this hole to 17 millimeters. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the part that the or the part that this mates into from the bandsaw, and I'll just keep that with me so I can use it as a uh, as a guide to make sure that I'm in the right size. So I'll go and dismantle that. Okay, so this is the uh, the wheel from the bandsaw, and this is the old part, and it's a very loose fit. Um, so it obviously wasn't riding on any sort of bearing or anything like that. So let's have a... what damage is that? Basically, yeah, it's sort of 15. I mean, hmm. The question now is, is that actually, do I need to bore it out to... Uh, do I need to bore it out to, to 17? Or should I just do it to 15? It's sort of a reasonably... You know, it's just like a, a snug fit. Well, I might do that. I'll just bore it out to 15 millimeters, and if I run into any problems, I can always bore it out further. So we'll uh, we'll do that. So let's mount it on the lathe, and then we can uh, start boring out. Fifteen point seven, so that should be a, a you know a nice loose fit. So I'm going to take it out now. And that is uh, our board hole. So oh, there we have it. So this is the the broken part made out of cast iron, uh, and basically uh, after measuring it up, putting together a little drawing, we now have a solid steel part. Um, so now the next step is to uh, put it back in the the bandsaw, and uh, hopefully it should all fit and everything should work. I should be able to get the bandsaw up and running. So let's go and do that. <laughs> 